So I'm Eitan, uh, and I lead our developer engineering team on Google's Project Tango. And at the beginning of these talks, I always like to take just a show of hands. How many of you have heard of Project Tango before? OK, so maybe a third of the audience. So for those of you who have heard of us before, hopefully this will serve as an update. And for those of you who have never heard of Project Tango, I want to introduce it to you and tell you a little bit about what we're, what we're doing. All right, so Project Tango stems from this observation that today, interaction with our phone is fundamentally limited by the area of the screen. And whether you're at home shopping for an appliance online, slides, okay, or at work planning for a project, or out at dinner socializing with your friends, your phone is with you but you're still just interacting with your screen. Your phone doesn't see or understand the world or your environment. And on Project Tango, we want to break this barrier. We want to teach your phone to see and understand your environment and to augment our own abilities to answer questions about the world around us. Now, those might be questions like, how much paint do I need for this wall? Or will a couch that I'm about to buy online fit in my room? I recently made a, a very bad decision with a sleeper sofa. Uh, or how do I get from where I am to the laundry detergent in a store? And of course, and, and most excitingly here, um, we can make games. Uh, and whether we're exploring a landscape with Possible's Poco Echo game uh, in full six degrees of freedom, or dodging meteors by moving around our room with danger dodgers from uppercut games, or competing with a friend in a multiplayer uh, Jenga experience, which was a partnership between Jenga and Shell Games, or even just placing a cat uh, on a surface by you to have a new virtual friend. Um, I've made a lot, of, uh, a lot of progress with mittens over the last couple of weeks. Uh, Project Tango allows us to build all of this and to do even more. And we use special cameras and inertial sensors on the device to allow your phone to see the world much like we do and to build a truly human scale understanding of space and motion. And we expose this understanding to application developers by adding three core technologies to mobile phones. And I'll talk about each of them briefly motion tracking, area learning, and depth perception. So motion tracking allows Tango devices to track both their position and orientation in space. The device keeps a log of the visual features that it sees in the environment and calculates its position and orientation relative to static features in the world. Area learning allows Project Tango devices to recognize spaces where they've been before. When a distinctive visual landmark, think like a stop sign or something like that, or a special painting is seen, the device stores this in its memory. And the next time it, or actually any Project Tango device, comes into that space, the device sees that visual fingerprint and recognizes its precise location in the world. And depth perception allows Project Tango devices to see in full three dimensions, thanks to the addition of special depth cameras. This allows them to see and understand the geometry, structure, and scale of the environment that they're in. And there's no better time to build apps for this platform than right now. At CES, Lenovo and Google launched a partnership where we're building the first Project Tango smartphone, and it will launch in this summer. It's gonna be available globally in the US, and it's gonna be at mainstream price points. So this technology really is coming to mobile phones uh, and we're just at the start of what we hope will be a very large ecosystem. Uh, and to this end, we've actually launched an incubator program. So we're always looking for developers to build interesting content, and we want to help make that happen. So if you have an idea, please reach out to us. So that concludes my talk. Thank you so much for listening. We're excited to see what we can build. Uh, you can check out our APIs on developers.google.com and uh, you can email me directly if you want more information. 
And with that, I'm going to introduce Sunil, who's going to talk next. Thank you very much.